Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Brightworks. Today we're taking a revamped look at the tech guide, the all-encompassing tech path guide for Beyond All Reason. As a kind commenter pointed out, I definitely failed to provide a very clear overview of every single tech path option that you have in this wonderfully complex game, and I only showed it for the Armada faction. And while it is mirrored, I figured I might as well show it to you from the Cortex side as well, just so you get familiar, and I should probably show you all of the labs associated with the tech tiers. So let's dive right in to every tech path, tech option, tech decision that you can make in Beyond All Reason. Starting here, on the far left hand side, we have the bot lab, probably the most common lab that you're gonna go for. And immediately out of the bot lab, the constructor choices available to you are the T1 constructor bot. This cute little thing walks around on two legs and has a whole host of options. And if you want to tech up a tier, your next option is going to be the T2 bot lab. The T2 bot lab, it is the advanced bot lab, and it's gonna allow you to step into that T2 upgrades, those, those that tier two bot construction, and it's gonna give you all of those delicious, delicious choices, the sniper bots, the sprinters, the welders, everything that you can imagine in the Armada or the Cortex toolkit going to be mirrored across both ways is gonna come out of this advanced bot lab here. From the advanced bot lab, we get the advanced constructor bot. This is your T2 constructor. You can see it walks around on two legs, but it's like a little bit upgraded version. It's got this kind of interesting setup to it. And this is going to allow you to step up to the third, the final tier, the experimental tier, where you produce all of your baddest units. Once you get to here, there's no more tech ups. So this is the end of this chain. Jumping back down to the bottom, we have the vehicles mirroring the bot labs much the same way. We have a constructor bot or rather a constructor vehicle here, as you can see it kind of rolls around this very tube shaped constructor vehicle, very interesting. And from this, you will have the option to tech up to the tier two vehicle lab. From here, you're gonna make all those delicious units, the bulls, the mausers, the starlights, whatever your heart desires, you can pump it out of the T2 advanced vehicle uh, laboratory here, almost an advanced bot lab. Already getting confused in my own tutorial. T2 advanced vehicle is going to pump out this bad boy the advanced constructor, the advanced vehicle constructor. As you can see it here on all angles, we give you a nice little spin. Very nice. From here, you're going to be able to again step up into the T3 stage. Now, these are fairly straightforward, but things are going to get a little more complex after we move to the next tier, or rather after we get past this next tier, I should say, because next up is the Air Lab. The Air Lab, similar to the other ones, has a T1 constructor that comes out. All of your regular T1 structures are going to be able to be built. That includes any of the T1 labs you're going to be able to build with a T1 constructor of any kind. That includes the bots, the vehicles, or the hypercraft. I guess I shouldn't include the Navy, which we'll take a look at up here in just a second, but I don't want to spoil that quite yet. But anywho, the T1 air constructor can build the T2 air lab. And these look very similar, although you'll notice this one has a bit of a control window to it. So that's, you can tell it's a little bit taller, a little bit, a little bit more uh, pronounced. And you can see that the pad is a little more highlighted here as well. From there, you're going to be able to create the tier two aerial constructor. It's this interesting looking plane. It's got kind of a symmetrical, not a, well, it does have a left to right symmetry, but it also has like a forward to back symmetry, which is pretty interesting, kind of unique as far as airplanes go. I'll try and get this thing to spin around for you. It doesn't like doing it too much. There we go. Very nice. The T2 air constructor. From here, of course, you can build all of your regular T2 uh, buildings, all those structures, anything like that. You're gonna be able to pump out these other T2 units, your Hornets, your, uh, what else do you have? The Stilettos, the EMP Bombers, all that great stuff. But you can also tech up to T3. And then again, you've hit the end of the tech track. Now things start to get interesting. The Hovercraft, this is an interesting one. And you'll notice that up until now, we've put a uh, we've put the corresponding vehicle of choice, the, the corresponding tech vehicle in front of the designated path. The hovercraft is an interesting one because you really have a whole lot of options with the hovercraft. If we quickly come out of this mode and we take a look at the build menu here, you can see that the hovercraft has a huge array of available options. So let's dive right into them, shall we? Of course, you can build across the whole swath of T1, uh, the T1 labs here, the, the, the bot vehicle air and the naval lab as well, all this stuff on the bottom row. You can also build the T2 vehicle lab using this. So it could be over here and it, you could tech up to the T2 vehicle lab from there, again, going to the T2 constructor and then up to T3 gantry units. 
You can also tech to the T2 shipyard, which we will get into in just a minute in our shipyard discussion that'll be right after this. Timestamps as well will be down below in case you want to jump around. But you will, you will also have the option to get into the T2 shipyard using the hovercraft, which is quite interesting. Now there are alternate options as well. You can also use these to go for amphibious complexes, which we will showcase in just a minute, and seaplane platforms. So why don't we go take a look at the Navy options since we've already seen most of these land deliver ones. Over here, you can see our Navy options. Here we have the T1 shipyard. This produces the T1 ship constructor. And of course, from here, you can construct the T2 shipyard, the advanced shipyard. You can also construct the amphibious complex, which I have built right here. If we take a good close look at that, we can even get under the water a little bit here sometimes. Yeah, there we go. You can see it's sitting underneath the water. And out of this, you can produce a couple different units, a, a couple different constructors, including the beaver, which is exactly the same as the hovercraft, uh, except that it cannot build the advanced shipyard. So the, the, hover, the hovercraft, you get the advanced shipyard. With the beaver, you do not get the advanced shipyard. So that's the one difference between those two. But other than that, it's the exact same as the hovercraft. Moving along, we have the seaplane platform. And this is another one that is a little bit unique because this is a dead end. When you, when you build this one, you get the construction seaplane, the T1 construction seaplane. And out of here, sorry, I shouldn't switch that menu so often, should I? Out of here, you can see exactly the build options. You cannot go up to T2 with the seaplane constructor, not at all. You can't step up to T2 ships. You can't step up to T2 air. Sort of an interesting decision to make that sort of a technological limit to go up to the seaplanes, but I think that's because the seaplanes are generally a little bit more powerful than the T1 aircraft for both teams. And so I think they consider it sort of a dead end, technologically speaking. So let's trace our way back here to the T1 shipyard. Produces the T1 ship constructor. Remember, you can also build this advanced shipyard using the hovercraft here. But both of these are going to give you the advanced shipyard. Now, the advanced shipyard gives you this submersible Tech 2 constructor. It's a, it's a submarine-looking thing. And this is finally where you step up to your T3 level. If we take a look here, you can see that this can finally produce the gantry, the underwater gantry, experimental gantry. They can build underwater units. And indeed, if we take a look here, there's no more construction options. And so that is the end of the tech path there. So that is all of the dead ends that we've covered. If you want to go ships, you have to build essentially the coordinated shipyard and the, uh, the constructor. If you want to build any sort of land-based uh, land technology here, you have to build the corresponding one. So if you want to go vehicles, you have to build the vehicle. Bots, you have to build the bot. And air, you want to build the air. And then all of the T2 constructors are going to get you the T3 gantry, either on land or in the sea. And at that point, you're looking to move into the proper late game. Now let's take a look at the Cortex units, and we'll wrap up this video. Alrighty, and here we are with the Cortex units in place. So as you can see, this will be much, this will be much simpler now to explain now that we've looked at the Armada ones because it is all exactly the same, but I wanted to show everyone exactly what these units look like and more specifically what these buildings look like. So to just reiterate everything, everything very quickly one more time, bots and vehicles, you build the corresponding constructor, allowing you to tech up to the corresponding advanced structure, which it then lets you get into the T3. So you can see this is the T1 bot lab, the T2 bot lab, T1 vehicle lab, T2 vehicle lab, and the T3 experimental gantry. Same thing goes for air. You start off with the air lab here, which you can see is defined by having this little tower and a, a little builder over here, and it produces the T1 aircraft right here. And then you can use that to build the T2, the advanced aircraft lab, and that allows you to fabricate all those lovely advanced aircraft, namely the Dragon. That's really the, the Cortex name, call, call to fame, <laughs> name to fame. Anyway, that lets you build the T2, the Advanced Aircraft Constructor, which lets you step into that T3 Experimental Gantry, all the same as the Armada counterpart. And then again, things get a little bit complicated with the Hovercraft, which can, of course, build the uh, T2 Vehicle Lab here. In fact, let me just show you that really quickly. Yep, so you can see the Advanced Vehicle Plant here, and it can also do the Advanced Shipyard, just like Armada. Now, if we jump over to the, we'll quit out of there real quick, and we'll jump over here to the Navy section set up in the exact same way. 
You can see that indeed you have the shipyard, which produces the Tech 1 ship, which can of course produce the T2 shipyard, so that's a nice little jump there. Or you can take this hovercraft route where you jump straight from hovercraft to the T2. Well, you can also build the T1 shipyard, of course, but you can go to a T2 shipyard, and that's that's sort of the end of the hovercraft tech up path. Uh, from there, you build this, the submarine, little, little submarine guy, if we take a look at that underwater. Very cool looking little craft, kind of like a shark. And that's how you build the underwater gantry for the Cortex faction. Very, very similar to the Armada part. And then, of course, we have the exact same thing with the amphibious units, where we can build this amphibious constructor. And as you can see in its build menu, it cannot tech up to T2 shipyard, but it can tech up to a T2 vehicle plant. Uh, and as well, it can build the seaplane platform. I should also note that the both the, the constructor ship and the hovercraft can both build the seaplane platform here, which is very nice. And then the seaplane constructor, which is the last thing we'll leave off on, which can not tech upwards, but it can tech outwards. So it can build any of the T1 structures. It can build hovercraft. It can build the amphibious. It can build another seaplane platform, although I don't know why you would go for that. But there you go. There's a there's a look at the Cortex buildings. We'll just get a nice little shot of these seaplane uh, the, the, the seaplane factories here. Well, and all these factories, all these amphibious factories here. And I hope this is an excellent showcase of exactly what all of your tech options are when you are deciding what to tech for during the uh, during during your matches, right? In the in the heat of combat, it's difficult to know exactly what these tech paths are. So it's nice to have a look at them and actually have a way to uh, determine exactly what you should be going for. If you found this helpful, I would really really appreciate it if you would leave a like down below. But I would like it even more if you would comment down below, letting me know how you think I did, letting me know if you think there's anything I missed. I'd love to hear from you guys. It always, it always brings a smile to my face. And that being said, I will see you all in the next video.